So before the review, let's start with a small B-roll, shall we? Okay, so what's up guys, welcome to a new video. So as you can see, my setup is a bit changed. Previously, I used to sit right here behind my computer. Right now, I'm sitting in a diagonal way, whereas my computer is on this side. So do let me know down in the comment section down below of what you guys think of this new a -roll setup. So with that being said, today we are going to talk about something which is very important in the line of editing for photos or for videos. It is something which professionals use for increasing their workflow, for increasing the speed of workflow, but they keep it hidden because this is something very important and that is editing panels. Editing panels are something which is in the market for quite some time now and most of the professionals, let it be high-end professionals or some freelancers, they have an editing panel of some way or the other. And today we are going to talk about the Loop Deck editing console. So the Loop Deck editing console is a very good editing console for you guys to use if you are a freelancer or a YouTuber or a video editor or photo editor or some kind or the other. And it is something which I would definitely recommend for you guys to use. So when you see the product, you're going to see all sorts of keys such as saturation, highlights, vibrance, and all those other stuff. And the keys are exactly what they do. In editing software such as Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop, these keys do exactly what they say, like they increase the vibrance in their color grading process or increasing the exposure, decreasing the exposure, increasing the contrast, etc. And all those other processes which our editing software does. But this vibrance, saturation and all those keys are not the only thing for editing panels. You're going to see before and after, only the screen. There are programmable buttons which are named as P1, P2, P3, P4. There are command buttons such as C1, C2, C3, C4. There are copy paste buttons. There are all sorts of other buttons like the redo, undo and all those other buttons are also present there. So these are something which is going to increase your speed a lot. Yes, I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to say you're going to use your keyboard. But a keyboard is not properly designed for video editing or photo editing. Like the work can be done in a keyboard. But a proper editing panel is something which all of you should use because these are something which is specifically made for this kind of purposes. While keyboard is mainly made for typing and all those other purposes, where the purposes or the keys or the shortcuts of video editing were put later in the keyboard but in editing panels this kind of features are already inbuilt this is one product where all the features were made to be used in a proper way in a proper efficient way in a proper organized way for you guys to use and trust me in the long run it is going to save you a lot of time trust me it is definitely going to save you a lot of time because if you guys spend a lot of time in shortcuts also it is going to take you some time but there was a bird chirping, I guess. Okay, so yeah, you guys can definitely take some time in learning this thing. But when you learn this thing, it will be definitely faster than your average shortcuts in your keyboard. And speaking of compatibility of this particular product, it is compatible with most of the Adobe softwares like Lightroom, Premiere, After Effects. It is also compatible with Capture One Pro, which is a video editing software. And it is also compatible with Final Cut Pro if you are in Apple. And if you want to know more about the compatibility, I leave the link to their website down below and you guys can check it out from there. So what you are going to do is you are going to show a demo of this particular editing console of how it works, how it is set up, how it is done, and of course, how your editing workflow is way faster than before. So speaking of the setup is pretty simple. First, what you need to do is you need to download the Loop Deck app from their website. The link is there down below also, you can just check it out from there as well. So after you download the app, it is pretty simple, just run the app and then connect your loop deck. And then it will automatically say that your loop deck is connected. And so once you open this app, it is a pretty cool interface for this particular app. So once you open the app, you're going to see all the buttons which are already there in the loop deck. So when you click on any of the buttons, you can customize each of the buttons and check what each of the buttons will do. So you guys can check out and customize each of the buttons according to what you want. There are default shortcuts applied already for each of the buttons. But if you guys have any kind of custom buttons, then you guys can change it from the app in your PC or your Mac. So after you connected a loop death, we are going to go into Premiere Pro to show this particular demo. But before this, as you can see, I have my keyboard and my mouse. So let's do a before and after. That is the before. Let's click on after. So as you can see, I'm going to use the loop deck 
and the mouse no keyboard so let's jump right into it so first what we're going to do is we're going to show it in premiere pro so here we are in premiere pro so as you can see this is my timeline with some transitions now if i just rotate this knob you guys can see that i can just simply jump to a next clip without any hesitation without any problem now there are other functions also like you can do all the things which you can do in a keyboard in this particular thing all you need is a bit of practice right so just to make sure i am just showing all the basic tricks but after just going through the whole setup you guys can do every sort of thing with this particular panel for example if i just click on control then it is just playing and then if i click on c3 it is the in point and if i click on c4 it is the out point now there are other things also like for example if i select this and click on copy and then again click on paste then it is doing copy and paste the basic copy and paste trick and then if i click on c1 it is actually saving which actually saves a lot of time now there are other options also such as redo undo and all those other stuff for example if i click on d1 it is going to zoom out to the whole timeline and if i click on d1 again then it is going to zoom out to its original position so there are all sorts of other tricks, all sorts of other shortcuts which you can do with this particular panel. But all you need is a bit of practice and that is pretty much it. So that is pretty much it for the Premiere Pro 1. I know it is a bit short, but the more you practice with this, the better it will be and it will be much faster than your average keyboard. So as you can see, that is how you do with the editing console in a video editing software. So now let's jump into the color grading part. Now I know that color grading part is one of the most important things in video editing. But for showing the color grading portion, I'm going to show in Lightroom because in Lightroom, colors are one of the most important things. So just for example purpose, I'm going to show it in Lightroom, but you can do the exact same thing in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut Pro or in After Effects or any other editing software. But I wanted to show you guys how it is done in Lightroom as well. So I'm going to show the color grading portion in Lightroom. So let's jump right into it. The setup process is exactly the same. Connect to Loop Deck and then open Lightroom and it is pretty much done. So after opening Lightroom, let's jump right into it. Now here we are in Lightroom for showing the color grading portion. So I've just chosen this particular photograph. Now if I click on shadows, then the shadows are getting increased. If I decrease the shadows or decrease the dial, then the shadows have been adjust as the way it should be. And if I just increase the exposure, then the exposure is getting increased. Now I just adjusted the shadows, the blacks, the whites, the contrast a little bit. The clarity and all those other stuff are done specifically in this particular knobs. And it is way faster than your average scrubbing through this particular panels in your screen because, because doing this thing in a proper editing panel results in a way more smoother workflow. Now the other thing which is there is a before and after button as well. There is a screen button as well and there is an export button as well. But the main thing is in the center portion which is the HSL panel where all the colors are chosen and you can choose the hue, saturation or luminance and then choose each of the colors just like the dials of the HSL panel. And then you can play the greens, the yellows, the aqua, the orange, the red. I'm going to reduce the yellows and the greens a little bit and then I'm going to jump into the luminance and then I'm going to play with the yellows a little bit as well and play with the orange a little bit as well and the red a little bit as well. Now it is totally personal preference, it is totally up to you how you actually want to adjust this. But if you guys like photographs or like video snippets then do make sure to follow me on Instagram as well because I post regular content on that as well. Now there is a before and after. Now all the other keys do a specific job as well. Now it is totally up to you what you set them to be. For example D2 is for my sharpening. For example if I just rotate the D2 dial then it will decrease the sharpness or increase the sharpness. So that is pretty much it for the Lightroom portion or the color grading portion. So I hope you guys liked the video. That is pretty much it. So I'll leave the purchase list down below. So if you guys like this kind of product, then do make sure to check them out because they are pretty good. And yes, until and unless you guys buy one of this, you guys will not understand its advantage. It definitely looks like one of the old media systems in music which are like similar to the music it is the bass or something like that. I don't know anything about music, but it looks something like that, like a MIDI output device of music. But yes, it does its job pretty well. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like the product. I hope you guys like the review as well. And if you guys like this kind of content, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys are new here, I'm Pixel Sammy. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and
Peace out.